Why are you gay? I think a lot of black gay men, like, even if they're out, they're still on that DL. You are gay. You are a transgender. What, 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 what shows that I'm gay? You are a transgender <laughs> and you're a gay rights activist and an outspoken um, uh, uh, homosexual. How can I describe you? Everywhere I look, it is gay black men. What? A good third to half the black men I see in the gym are gay. That's suspicious. Why should someone be gay? Ladies, just, and that's not my imagination. Okay, so let's start with the black men are gay. This is something that I've heard time and time and time and time again. There's too many gay black men. There's too many down low black men. So that just removes them from the population. Again, what is missing from that conversation is, okay, well, what percentage of black women are gay or queer or bisexual? You're having a girlfriend. Yes. Do you perform the natural obligations? Uh. Are you bisexual? Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah, I always say that. Doesn't that make you gay? So you mean to tell me that every single black woman is heterosexual, but only black men are gay? Y'all see what I'm saying? And so a lot of the talking points that I think we're gonna hear in, in this video as we move forward can literally be applied to women and sometimes even more so. Let me show you a source just to kind of give you guys some context. This was shared back in 2019 and trust me guys there are many sources this is just one of many sources this one says 23 percent of young black women now identify as bisexual so if you want to talk about queerness lgbtq um what is it same gender loving black women are not excluded from that if anything they're arguably embracing the lifestyle more so than black men so reading a little bit it says since 1972 social scientists have studied the general social survey to chart the complexities of social change in the united states let me move forward it says in the 10 years that the general social survey has included a question on sexual identity rates of identification among gay men lesbian women and bisexual men in the u.s haven't changed much bisexual identifying women on the other hand account for virtually all of the growth among those who say they're lesbian, gay, or bisexual. Of all the women who responded to the 2018 survey, more than one in 18 identified as bisexual one decade ago, only one in 65 did. So basically what it's saying is the amount of gay men, um, let me see. Yeah, it says that amount of gay men, lesbian women, and bisexual men hasn't changed much, but there is, there has been a huge growth among those who are basically among women, right? When it comes to identifying as being bisexual. Then it goes to break it down here a little bit more um, specifically. A few years ago, we wrote about how approximately 18% of young black women identified as lesbian or bisexual in the 2016 general social survey sample. This rate was more than two times higher than for white women or other racial groups and almost four times higher than for men of any racial group. Let me repeat this. It says the rate was more than two times higher than for white women and almost four times higher than for men of any other racial group. So if we really want to talk about, you know, getting in the nitty gritty of who is LGBTQ, who is, is queer, based upon the evidence, we're seeing it is women who are really embracing that lifestyle so much more. And so the problem, the problem that I have with this black men are gay narrative is that it always assumes that all these women <laughs> are just completely straight, that they're not on the spectrum, that they're not bisexual. And what we are actually seeing, what some of the different research is suggesting is that not only are women more quick to embrace different sexual orientations, it is actually growing among women. It is especially growing among black women. Granted, this is just one survey, right? But there are plenty more out there. So here's another one. Cause I wanted to, I wanted to, I wanted to bring a little bit of research for you guys. This one is when the rainbow is not enough. Um, this is the blackcensus.org. So it break, it just looks at um, the community as, as it relates to black people and spe specifically. I wanna go briefly into this one part cause I think this is important. 
If we scroll right down here and it says black census respondents by sexual orientation, we see lesbian 3%. We see gay 3%. What that's essentially saying is that they're based now based upon this research, it's saying that the percentage of lesbian and gay men are, are, are pretty close based upon this census. And again, if you really want to get into the nitty gritty, here's about 17 pages here. I have the sources actually linked in the description. But case in point, if we want to say that black men are gay, black women are gay too. Or there is an equal amount of black women who are gay to actually go along with that. If not arguably more so. So again, a lot of these talking points that I said we're going to go over can actually be applied the other way around, which means it's null and void. But let's continue. 